the late report. Well, the driver who shot a man in the buttocks on the West Seattle Bridge was sentenced to four years in prison this week. That works out to be roughly two years per cheek. <laughs> Community Transit is planning to put video cameras in various park and ride lots in the north end of the Seattle area. The videotape will then be edited together to become a new series on Channel 11. <laughs> well, the Seattle Mariners held a fan fest at the Kingdom Pavilion, including autograph tables and a booth to time how fast you can throw a baseball. Bobby Ayala actually registered the highest speed at the pitching booth, but unfortunately, the ball missed a backstop and blew a hole in the pavilion, which collapsed on top of 5,000 fans. <laughs> the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters played earlier this evening at the Key Arena. As usual, the officiating was horrible. <laughs> they missed a lot of calls. <laughs> The Healthy Living Expo was held at the Kingdom last weekend. Among exhibits, running from falling ceiling tiles, the ultimate cardio workout. In a related story, the International Sportsman's Exposition is being held at the Kingdom this weekend. Among the exhibits, shooting at falling ceiling tiles, the ultimate sport. They missed a lot of calls. Finally... Some guys had the balls under their shirt, they didn't even see it. Finally, a new state senate bill would ensure that breastfeeding is not considered indecent exposure and would outlaw discrimination against women who breastfeed in public, unless the child who is feeding is clearly above the age of 30.